and welcome in today's session for discussion in the course learning and teaching i am dr gaurav singh your course instructor for this course and today i am going to discuss about very important aspect of learning that is learning out of the schools when we are talking about learning out of the schools we should recall the recommendations of national curriculum framework 2005 where it has clearly been written that we should provide opportunity to our learners to learn outside the boundaries of the school outside the classroom they should be exposed to the realistic situation of life let them explore those situations let them learn how to solve the problems of real life this is the focus of learning out of the school but have you ever thought that why we are talking about this issue why there is a discussion about learning out of the schools let us try to analyze the actual situation which is prevalent in most of the schools why are we talking about learning out of the school because the opportunity for the preparation of life and society and life skill education is decreasing day by day there is hardly any opportunity for the learners to learn what they will do in their life when they will go out of the school sometimes it has been said and it has been observed also by many educationists that learners are like prisoners within the boundaries of the school let them come outside of these boundaries and the burden of the subject knowledge is diverting them from the practical life you will also agree with the statement that school and institutions have become like islands in the society so though they are the part of the society the schools and institutions have been developed and built up by the society to facilitate the society in developing citizens as per the needs of the society but you will observe that the education which is being given in different schools and institutions many time it is not of any use in the society so they are like islands in the society why we are talking about it because it has been observed and it has been mentioned by many educationists and behaviorists that behavior can be modified along with the people of society so if people of society are not with the learner with the individual the behavior modification will not take place in the desired direction and if you recall our own traditional indian education system it was always within the society it was the society which was deciding what kind of education should be what kind of institution should be who should be the teacher there was hardly any interference of the king or the government of that time these days learners are deprived of the experiences related to real world and these issues basically raise the concerns due to which now we are talking about learning out of the school so what do you mean by learning in the school and out actually in 1987 lauren b rasmick proposed this concept and he proposed the term school intelligence which has minimal relation with the required intelligence and wisdom of the real world so rasmick was of the opinion that whatever intelligence is being developed in the school is called school intelligence and it has minimal relationship with the required intelligence and wisdom of the real world an efficient school learner is not efficient in essential skills of real life situations and in most of the schools the evaluation of learner is very individualistic and learning is also individualistic but it is actually not so when we are talking about learning outside the school what are the benefits of learning outside the school when we give opportunity 
to our learners to learn outside the school such type of learning develops as shared cognition in real situation one has to accomplish any task within the help of many tools and with it, with the help of many other people but in schools artificial situation students or children are trained to solve any problem on their own as an individual which is contradictory to the social life in learning outside the school opportunities are available more for learning and discussion in a specific and realistic context so contextualization of learning takes place when we talk about learning outside the school and also when children get opportunity to learn outside the school in realistic situation they develop the skills which are related and required to deal in a particular specific situation which is not possible in classroom or school learning when learners go for learning outside the school they develop interpersonal skills and the ability to act independently they improve their creativity the behavioral problems which are often observed in the society can be minimized if we give opportunity to our learners to learn outside the school and our learners stay motivated also they develop better abilities to tackle with uncertainties so if these are the benefits of learning outside the school what we can do how we can provide opportunity to our learners to learn outside the school? what kind of learning takes place outside the school and whether learning outside the school stops with the school or it continues after the school also these are certain questions about which we need to discuss we need to think and we need to reflect james a bank and colleagues of bank have given a very good idea about learning out of the school let us talk about the idea of bank and his colleagues about learning out of the school so what was the idea bank and his colleagues were of the opinion that learning takes place in socio economical and historical context according to the local culture customs and perspective so the importance of culture customs and perspective is very much in learning if we avoid the importance of local culture local customs we are giving basically an artificial situation to our learners where they will not learn how to deal in realistic situation so bank was of the opinion that learning doesn't take place in school only but it continues in many context different activities and in different social behaviors bank also proposed that there is a need to provide help to every child for personal intellectual development in every institution and learning will be more effective when learners are motivated to use their language of home community culture and society actually language is the biggest barrier in realistic learning because a learner comes to the school with his or her own language that is the language of the home language of the family or language of the community but when they come to school they are exposed to a standard language suddenly and if there is huge gap between the school language and the language of the home they never learn effectively that's why every policy and every commission has recommended that at least the initial education the education up to the primary and elementary level should be in mother tongue only so the language of home and the language of community culture and society have very important role in learning bank has proposed basically three dimensions of learning one is lifelong learning another is life wide learning and third one is life deep learning let us talk about all these three in little bit details what is lifelong learning when we are saying lifelong learning it means curiosity of learning new knowledge and skills useful for life through situations and events 
and communication and interactions in relation to it needed life long you cannot say that at a particular age one learner learns everything you keep on learning whenever you get new experiences so when whenever there is an opportunity to learn and we are ready to learn that is called lifelong learning that's why it is said that lifelong learning begins at childhood and it continues till death and this learning actually shapes our foundation for curiosity eagerness communication and persistence in continuing to learn and to keep on learning another is life deep learning what is life deep learning life deep learning means it is a learning which scaffolds all our ways for approaching the challenges and undergoing changes so it is very thoughtful learning that's why the religion values morality ethics all these things are controlled by our faith behavior and belongingness and help in decision making for the self and others are also part of it so the religious moral ethical and social learning brings life deep learning that enables us to guide our actions judge ourselves and others and express to ourselves and others how we feel and what we believe so when we are talking about life deep learning we are talking about our behavior our faith our values which are deep in our life which are deep in our heart and brain or which are deep in our mind third one is life wide learning life is not so simple people get different types of experiences when they get exposed in different situations so experience in managing ourselves and others of time and space and of unexpected circumstances turns of event and crisis so whenever there is a crisis there is an event which is not as per our expectations there are some unexpected circumstances those situations also give us an opportunity for learning so living with equivalence in human relationship despite various favorable as well as bitter experiences is also part of such learning when we are talking about life wide learning we should learn how to adapt how to transport knowledge and how the skill gained in one situation to another can be used and also we should learn to transform direct experiences into strategies and tactics for future use so it is basically the preparation of life and future so we have talked about life long learning life deep learning and life wide learning but the question is how we can use all these for our learners how we can use the concept of learning outside the school with our learners to facilitate their learning so the question is that what a school can do what a teacher can do how we can help our learners so when we are talking about learning outside the school what is the role of a school as a school we can organize certain residential activities like weekend residential meets for extensive learning we can go for outside tours residential study weeks residential summer workshops because when we give residential opportunities to our learners they live together they learn to live together they share with each other their ideas their thoughts they debate they learn how to respect others ideas excursion is also a very good activity you can use excursions to the museums zoo library historical places and natural diversities you can organize some social meetings with various community members and groups when we are talking about what a school can do you can give them community based homework or you can develop some homework clubs where they decide what kind of homework they can do how they can work together and that homework should not be based on the classroom teaching learning rather it should be based on the observation and experiences of the society 
you can develop certain study clubs in the study clubs they should not be bounded by the curriculum rather they should extend the curriculum you can also appoint some experienced counselors and mentors for learners outside of the school with the help of guardian so if you use such type of methods and if you use such type of techniques in your school you can facilitate out of the school learning so dear teachers let our learners explore the world outside the school so i hope that this discussion on learning outside the school will help you to open the doors of your school to open the windows of your classroom for your learners so that they explore the world outside the walls of the classroom and the school so that they can learn what they actually need to learn to live their life happily in the society with the society so let them explore the society let them build their relationship with the society with the nature with the community and let them learn outside the school thank you very much